Good evening everybody and welcome to another video by Russia UK, the channel that gets under the skin of Uber. Right, on this video what we're going to be talking about is how you guys who are ranked up in an airport rank and what I'm going to do is use the Birmingham uh, rank, um, how you guys will be ending up with a better job than you are currently doing. Right, and you must say, well, how is that possible? And I'm going to explain in this video, actually. So, quickly, um, why do we uh, rank up at the airport job? And it's basically because we want to end up with a good or a long job. And um, and the reason for that is, obviously, um, you know, it pays a bit better. You might as well do a 50 quid job in three hours than rather than trying to earn 50 quid doing, I don't know, you know, probably five, six jobs. So this is the reason we end up at the airport rank. Now, at Birmingham Airport, the rank has changed again. Right, now, before, if I could just hold this camera, we all used to be caged in, now this is the Birmingham Airport rank actually, forgive me for my drawing, everyone who knows me will um, tell you that I am a crap artist. Now, before, this is where Birmingham Airport rank used to be. It used to be in a car, 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 car park there. And we used to be all inhumanly caged in. And if you wanted to get out of that cage, the car park, you, you know, you had to pay £4 to get out. Now, I've done videos previously uh, telling you guys that this airport rank wasn't going to last. And it didn't. And how you needed to be changed. Now... I've also gone to Uber as well and um, given them, uh, given them, a, um, you know, offered them solution, and which they didn't take. And you know, you could only tell certain people uh, so many things. So you know, it's their loss. But this is what's happened now. You know, they come back to square one again. So what we're going to talk about in this video is how we're going to actually improve our chances of getting a good job. And and it's simply done actually by some few simple implementations. Now, if you guys follow me on the or in my WhatsApp group, um, and please don't ask to be joined uh, for the number to be joined actually because that WhatsApp group has been full for the last two years. But what these guys will tell you in the WhatsApp group is how many actually distances uh, I could get out of this airport rank. And what I'm going to do is, um, I might do a series of videos actually, just to tell you guys, you know, what sort of methods I used to um, get a good job. So let's start with method one. Okay, so I've obviously I have to put the video on pause and I've done, drawn a map here, right? So what can you see here actually? All right, so this is the new Birmingham airport rank right now the airport itself where the pickup point is probably say we'll just put it here for this argument's sake okay that's your pickup point all right now what happens is everyone comes in so if you're coming in from say yardley way a45 and you hit the airport rank this way there's people coming in from this way say from marston green uh, a45 back from coventry and probably also if you're coming up this way from Sully Hall. So what tends to happen is, right, okay, well, the example we're going to use, right, this is you. You're coming from the A45 and you come in, hit the airport rank, right, and you just sit there. And this is, this is where you are all going wrong, right? And I'll tell you why it is. This is the reason why you guys sit on rank for two hours, three hours, Get yourself right to the top of the rank and guess what you end up with a local job and that, the reason i keep saying to you guys you really need to know how the uber app works that's where your secret of your success is is knowing how the actual uh, app of uber works right so what we're going to do is talk about this one all right says so there's a job that comes from sheldon okay now you with the rest of all these guys are at the airport rank you are firstly, this is the airport rank in, itself. Now, you are on the list of the airport rank. So there could be, I don't know, about 30 drivers. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, all the way to the 30 from the airport rank. So if there's a job that comes from the airport, you're number 30th of getting that job. 
But what happens is, if there's a job that comes from Sheldon, you over here tend to have that job because you are the nearest driver to that airport, uh, to that job there. Doesn't matter if you're in the airport rank or doesn't matter if you're on, um, I don't know, any other rank around here, Yardley rank or something like that. You will get that job, right? From the airport rank. Now, you might refuse it because that job there is probably just going down the road. Right? Are you with me so far? Now, this is what I do. And I'll tell you how I do it. If I were to come down this way, I would do exactly the same thing. Sit on this first... No, so it could be the Morrison's uh, car park or whatever it is down there. Um, there's a good lay-by, which all our friends sit there as well. You know, which I quite like enjoying chatting to them. But, you know, you are on rank there at the airport rank. So you might end up with this job here now what i do is i will sit at these nearest rank so there could be one in sully hall there could be one in bickenhill over there there could be the one near marston green so if you're coming in, you know i mean marston green falls into the airport ranks so you could you could wait down there so if you were to get a job uh say from uh, castle bromwich you being in the airport rank will be the first one given that job but this is where you guys are going wrong now I normally sit on these things, right, for, I would say, a maximum of half an hour, right? And if I don't get a job from the outside rank area within half an hour, and my position, when I was 30, remember I told you before, has moved up to, say, 20, right? What I tend to do is move up a bit into the airport rank itself, Right, so I could be by the NEC, I could be by the train station, whatever. Right, when he actually goes, and this is the secret where you need to learn, when you actually are on 15 position or less, so you know, you could be 10th or whatever, do not stay around these border areas. I'll repeat it to you do not stay around them border areas because obviously, first the rank might move a bit quicker now because you're right at the top, right? And also, you, by being here and, say, position five on the airport rank, will have a good chance of ending with one of these jobs if they do come out. So what you, what you need to do, when you're about 15 or um, less rank, move your way out and go and park at the free car park that gives you 30 minutes free I can't remember what it is now, car park five or something like that. But that's what you need to do. So what you need to do is, as soon as you got move, as soon as the more higher you move up the rank, move more closely to the airport rank because you do not want to end up with these jobs. Now, if you refuse that uh, job, you know you get three chances, and then you'll be out of that rank area already. But if you were stationed down there, that job is not going to pick you up. That job is likely going to pick someone, one of these guys up. But the reason you are at the airport rank is to get the big jobs. So move up and move closer to the airport, is, uh, the airport rank itself. Right, and I'll chat to you in the next video. Bye now.